Hi there everybody, Ray and I are out today and we thought we'd turn the camera on. He's taking me for a little ride, but we're going to go get some cooking supplies. I need to go get some flaxseed, I am out, and some pumpkin seeds. I'll be turning this off and on and we're going across the bumpy area right now. Um, Ray's got the metal to the pedal. Shame on you, Mr. Crane. Doing the speed limit. Well, I know, but we don't want to make it jiggly. But anyways, we got to make a turn up here. But I thought you would see, like to see some of the colors of the trees. They're getting really pretty now. Um, it all depends what area you are in. And we are headed into the Oxford County Range. And this is a unique thing in front of us, made with um, water bottles. It looks right. like a bottle tree. Yeah, it's a bottle tree made of water bottles right in front of us. Hey, with Maine out here in the boonies, you never know what you're going to find. They probably... Oh, it might be a wind chime. Oh, that's true. Ray said a wind chime. But anyways, we're heading to the Oxford Hills area in the mountain range. And we are going to, what is it, Ocean Job Lots? New Jersey Ocean Job New, Lots. New Jersey Ocean Job Lots. We're not quite sure of the name. But it's like two hours one way from the house. No. Oh, it's not that. How no, far is it? Maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. I think it's more than that. But it doesn't matter. But the way we're going, it might be. Yeah, exactly. We like to go the, the long way. And then I got to go home and do some cooking. But... I thought I'd share a little bit of the ride with us, and um, so I'll turn the camera off and on as we go. Well, I thought I'd turn the camera on for just a minute and see what's everybody doing. Thinking about what I'm going to be making, which I should be home doing. Leaves are turning a little bit more as we head more into the Oxford Hill range here. So uh, we're coming up on West Paris right now, and and that's another that's another nine miles. I like that little town. It's a cute little town. Right now, right we're we're pretty much right out in the Willy Wags. There is not much out here, as you can see. We're coming up on a moose sign. It says the next four miles there's could be moose. So. I'm going to shut you off and pay attention to the road. This is an old village right here. I don't really know where we are. I should know, but I mean, I don't know the name of the town. I know where we are. But this is an old town. I suppose at one time there was a lot going on here. Now there ain't much. Well, one, one of these towns, don't blink, you might miss it. Of course, there's a church. It wasn't on the side road, right? The, the Grange, you, you didn't see it, but it was oh, it was all oh, it was off to my left. We're in Sumner, East Sumner, but the problem is we're in an area where there really isn't any work, any industry. There's nothing. But what, Ray? Probably the woods. What else would be uh, up the here? Woods, there ain't much, but of course you got South Paris for industry. There ain't much around here in the state of Maine anymore. It's no, hard. There isn't much. Just thought this was a pretty area we're going through right now with the trees and the mountain in front of us. Um, Oxford Hill is a beautiful area. And we're just kind of having the day trip out, like I said, so I can go get some supplies for, for cooking. But anyways, I haven't seen, we haven't seen any moose yet, but we'll keep you posted, and I hope you enjoy this ride, and um, we'll try to get more shots in as we go. Dollar General? No, I'm all set. We are here at Trap Connor. And I wanted to show you some ledge that was up on the mountain, but 
for some reason I couldn't catch it. Oh, there's a cute little van we're coming to right here on the left. I'm looking for a little van and that's probably exactly what I'm looking for right there. I like that little van. Perfect size. Well, I just realized back a ways, Ray and I, that we've got some brake issues, so I guess my car will be going in the garage again this week. We just had the front brakes done a couple of weeks ago. Now it looks like we need the back ones done. Okay, stay tuned. I just wanted to show you, we just pulled in. This is a rest area. That's something you don't see here in Maine anymore, are rust areas. And I don't travel like I used to. There's something called snowfalls off to the right of us. But we're not going to get out of the car. It's now 62 degrees at 1220 in the afternoon. When we started out, it was barely 60 degrees. So the temperature is climbing. We're going through the little town now. Of Paris. Um, yes, of Paris. Thank you, Ray. And um, it's a, kind of a cute little town. I see gas up here is 278. Uh, the sun, is that working okay? What's that? Yeah, that's working. Okay. Ray's asking me if it's working okay. But it looks like the sun, the angle. Oh, I think it's okay. Whoops. We'll find out if it's not. I think so, right? But we're coming up here. There isn't a whole lot here. Um, we, got, we got McDonald's and there's a liquor store. Seems like there's a liquor store in every town. And um, a couple of eatery places. But that's about it. Oops, Ray's trying to fix it here and I think it's going to ready to fall out of its holder. Don't, uh, just don't look right. Yeah, it's fine, right? Okay. Oh, there goes a logging truck. We passed a couple of them and one was going pretty darn fast. Yeah, we're still going through the little main street here, if you want to call it a main street. A nice little town. Save a lot. We got Lynn Fireman Oh, yeah. Too. Save a lot. We got a family dollar. Got the Paris Inn. See, somebody could stay up here. Oh, yeah. The Paris Inn. Yeah. Right up here in the hills of Oxford. Yeah. Oxford, Oxford hills. hills. Okay. We'll bring you back. We're almost right at the end of the, the, end of the town. Okay. We just left left uh, Paris. This is the town of Norway. They're right back to back really and it's kind of confusing where, where uh, Paris starts and where Norway starts. But this is another small old town here. This is, they, they ain't really torn much down here and built anything new like back at uh, Paris there. Now this is one of my favorite old towns that we that we drive through. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking, but it's on the holder of the windshield. And the roads here aren't all that great. I'm actually surprised to see how many cars are here in town, Ray. Yep. We drove all the way up here one time because we needed a part for our, was it kitchen cook stove, Ray? Yep. And now I don't even see the, the little town that sold um, parts. I think we're coming right up to it. It was an old hardware store. I don't think we went by it. No, I think they changed and put something yeah, else in Yeah, it's now. a bicycle shop now, right there. Oh, yeah, we're right just there. passing it. L.M. Longley and Son. This is hardware and metal shop. Used to be. Yeah, oh, look at that. We have a whole bunch of bikes that got carts where you can fill your card up and they will deliver your groceries to you on a bicycle. Well, I think that's the end of town, isn't on, it? Right? Uh, right there on the left hand side, that's the old 
Opera House. Yeah. They are restoring it because it was pretty run down. Yes. And there's fundraisers for that quite often. And they're doing a lot to bring it back, to uh, get it back during its heyday, I guess I want to say. Yeah, they are. And that is it for the town of Norway. Uh, right. There is a lake on the right hand side. I don't think you can pick it up. But coming right up, there was a um, woodworking can, mill here. Let's see used, if I can swing it over. They used to make a lot of wood products. And of course, that's long gone. And there was a lot of them in the state of Maine. But that's all. Right there. You know, plastic moved in and people got away from all the wood products. So, I'm holding it now. Whoa! So this is, of course, this this is Norway Lake. Here's a, a marina. Very lake. small marina. So give us a second. The lake will come right up into view. And I think the house coming right up into view here. I've seen this place underwater. Not, not the one being built, but the next one. I've seen this one here flooded out a couple of times. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, this one right here. The dove in the springtime. Yeah. I water wasn't up. No, I don't want to say two or three feet high, but it was flooded out there a little bit. So th this is Norway Lake right here. Of course, in the summertime, you know, there would be people around it. And maybe Brenda can bring it over here to the left-hand side. That's another rest area. We were just talking about them. And there ain't many of them around anymore. And there's two within just a few miles. I know. Of, that really surprised each other. And you can see some of the hills there. As Brenda was holding the camera. And I'm there narrating. Yep. I took it out of the holder so we could see a little bit more. I think i got to get a different holder. Because that one's really hard to navigate. we got a small marina up here. I apologize for the window being dirty, but got rain last night. Then a dirty windshield on top of that. Here in the summer, it's just rocking with people. And here's the marina. It's a little one, but hey. We're talking, we're talking Maine, folks. We're talking little here. Okay. We will bring you back. Okay, folks, we've reached our destination. We're coming up on the sign, Ocean State Job Lots. And there is a Dollar Tree right next door and Label Shopper, which I like going there. Right turn. Uh, right turn. Uh, gonna hold on to everything. Right turn again into the parking lot. Uh, Wow. Sorry, I had to kind of, that car was taking up a little bit of room, and but that's okay. And here we are, Ocean Job Lot. And folks, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Now I can go pick up some cooking supplies. And you can find me on Inter, in uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. And Facebook, I'm known as Maniac Grammy. And like I always say, you never know what's on my videos. Let's get cooking. Bye now. God bless.